Randomized controlled trials are used by clinicians, institutions, and policymakers to make decisions regarding therapeutic interventions for their patients and populations. However, patients in clinical trials do not always adhere to the protocol, which can have significant implications on the results and analysis of a study. Intention to treat analysis is a method for analyzing results in a prospective randomized study where all participants who are randomized are included in the statistical analysis and analyzed according to the group they were originally assigned, regardless of what treatment, if any, they received. This method allows the investigator to draw accurate conclusions regarding the effectiveness of an intervention, preserving the benefits of randomization. The risk of bias is increased when treatment groups are not analyzed according to the group to which they were originally assigned. If an intervention is truly effective, an intention to treat analysis will provide an unbiased estimate of the efficacy of the intervention at the level of adherence in the study. Per protocol analysis is the converse of intention to treat analysis, where only participants who received their intended treatment are included in the statistical analysis. Using the wrong method of analysis can lead to a significantly biased assessment of the effectiveness of an intervention. This article was authored by C. Eric McCoy. We are article.tv, links in the description below.